Hello, welcome back to Layers of Fear. Um, started this off as a little Halloween sort of treat for something a little bit different, but a few people seem to like it. Um, so I'm going to continue and play through the full game. Um, I'm probably only going to do a chapter, so I won't live stream it. Um, not this one anyway. Uh, and maybe if I get time over the weekend, live stream the next one. So, just to recap, we got uh, that little bit of skin, um, which he was using as his canvas, and we've got another five items to collect, so it looks like it'll be going around like five times, So and presuming back to this room each time. So, let's see what it's got in store for us. Straight into the hot air. Let's go wild. Okay. Spooky elevators, just what we want. down only one way to go ah okay elevators are never good in horror movies or horror games oh Creepy as past. Oh, what's that say? Okay, I wonder if we can actually go back down. Yeah, let's see if we can. Yep. Definitely just opened behind me. Maybe not. I'm um, actually. Uh, I'm. Let's see. Hmm. Ah. Ooh. Okay. So that wasn't open before. Spooky, creepy, bitcher, man, boy, person. Uh, right. Okay. This must be his little chill room. Do you say, while I am certainly. While I can certainly understand that you are upset and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure that... I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome from you, for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. But I do not understand how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. I've already stated I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stresses as of late, and thus I will 
not to press charges if you refrain from future correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. Jesus. If you wish to speak, to, if you wish to seek psycholo psycholo psychological help, yeah, I can have my assistant provide contact information to several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. That's right. right. So. I mentioned something about a fire, didn't it? Uh, was it like a club fire or something in the first chapter? Uh, so I wonder. I wonder if something has happened to his wife. Maybe she's burned. And that is why he's turned to drink. And maybe he had... Maybe he damaged the leg. Because obviously we've got a fake leg as well. Uh, what will let you know. Okay. Hmm. So she's obviously gonna be too lally. Yeah, so maybe back in the elevator. The elevator of hell. Oh, God damn it. Get changed. Um. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. Okay, so they must have been happy at some point. Oh, all the painting's gone all gassy. Oh, it's moving. Ah, oh, that lighting. Okay. Swiftly moving on. Oh. Like death. Hey. Shirts there. Oh, no. It wants me to go up there. Ah, okay, so hinting the fire again. But I think the wife's burnt. Okay, maybe, maybe not stand on that. That sounds a bit crunchy. I'm with it. Okay. Oh, more paintings. We've got shivers. Is it wind? That's meant. 
I think it's wind and it's just meant to sound like a baby crying. Oh no. jump out on me, I can feel it. Where does the baby fit into it? Something's obviously happened to the baby as well. Okay. I'm gonna stutter like something was loading. Night! Make up your mind. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, is this the room where the baby was? On the picture, it's hard to tell because everything's so warped and changes around all the time. Whoever done the paintings on this game needs help. Okay. More light. Okie dokie, pickety pokey. I guess we're moving on. Nothing else in here, is that? <gasps> okay. Uh, what happens when you have so many paintings on the wall? Some of them start to fall down. shivers down my spine, I don't like it. There's a sudden in that room. I think the last few times it's done that whispers and we've picked something up, it's been like a clue type thing. So we must have to get a key from somewhere to pick up that particular clue. Constant roar in my ears of like, I don't know, I feel like death on my shoulder. I feel like I'm missing something with them as well, like they must unlock something. I have no reflection. So cool. Someone on the chair. Ah, oh, this game is so clever. I wonder if that do something. Oh 
Okay. Creepy corridors of death. Doggies! I like doggies. I'm gonna be a doggy behind me. Oh, alright. Something's gonna come round the corner. Oh, that's so loud. No! Ah, can't do that. Oh, cruel. Good boy. Honey, remember how you said it would be nice to have a pad so the baby could have someone to play with? Well, I just <laughs> bought us a dog. <laughs> Aww. That's completely something I'd do. <laughs> what a guy. Okay. So, again, that's fire, isn't it? So, definitely something's happened in a fire. That must have been where everything went wrong. Yeah, just me chair. Let's just get in there. Leave me limping around like a douche. I need that one. Yeah, uh, a once great artist, this new painting left out of galleries. What we witness today, while entirely worthless in artistic terms, might be an invaluable case study. The psychologist. These harsh words came from none other than Jason Hughes. Oh, the Jason Hughes. The famed critic was one of the first to appreciate the works of a nose praise once contributed to the first spectacular success when asked if such brutal criticism was indeed called for, especially in light of the recent tragic events. Tragic events. Hughes responded, as critics, it is our duty to critique art, but not to judge the artist. The man has been through a lot lately and obviously has taken its toll on him. Still, if we were to remain silent and pretend this is even remotely acceptable, we would be doing the artist a disservice. Other critics were only slightly more lenient as they Yada yada yada. Okay, so. Shit gone south. He's lost his artistic gift. And possibly turn to drink from there. That's why there's bottles everywhere. <gasps> oh, I knew there was something behind me. <laughs> Just that vision's a scary movie free with the old fella in a wheelchair in a creepy house. I want to see the paint that was left out of the gallery. Lots of locked doors. Like, surely you'd have like keys to doors in your own house. Like two faces. Every painting's got like another painting in the background. <gasps> oh, you f what the f Oh, weird. Oh no, I've got to turn around. Oh 
no, it's gonna make me turn around again. Is that the same pattern? Shit. Is it gonna be tiny? this oh now there's rats I hate rats I just walked into that door didn't I okay fill your beans Check this one first. No doubt lot. Ooh, so we got two options. But let me just check for secrets. I feel like I missed a secret where those whispers were. But the door was locked. <gasps> I didn't even do anything. Oh, fuck you. It's put me. Oh no. That. I'm gonna see if it does that again. <laughs> oh, clever. Okay, what way do we wanna go? Creepy melted wheelchair or. Creepy paintings. Bet you they're both the same room. Yeah. Second, whatever way you go at. I feel like you could probably play through this again as well and find different stuff. She's being at it again. Earlier in the day I found more of her reviews. Little notes stuck to one of my latest paintings. Some of the most scathing, hateful shit I've ever read about my work. Probably should have listened to her going by what the critics say. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. After all, she knows me well enough to know what really gets to me. I just can't believe she would use that against me. Worst thing is, when I confront her about it, she claims she hadn't written any of them. Like I like I can't tell her handwriting. Jesus, does she really hate me that much? Or is her mind starting to slip? I just don't know anymore. Should have listened to her. She was trying to like help you in your career. Okay, I feel like this could be the wife. That's fucking shit up. She's like human with me. Was opened on its own. Ew. Never a good sign. Right, let's see what else we've got before we go in. Hey. 
I don't know. Oh shit, I need a gun. Oh no, I need a gun. Oh no, that's the way because he's fuming because I've crossed the pitch it out. Uh, go away. I'm busy, fuck off. I'm busy searching my own house. Found this little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted badly and I was hard for him too, but god damn it, he should know better. We have a small child in the house. I haven't even seen a child, yeah. That's just irresponsible. Terrible parents. Like, no one even knows where the kid is. He's just walking around, his, limping around his own house, getting wellied. And she's just writing evil little notes. Funny. I'm sorry. Oh, what's that? I wasn't there before. Uh... Ooh. Okay, right, I want to see where this Peyton goes first. Oh, two. Eight. Oh. Throwing shit at me and then running away. Howard. This house is absolutely amazing. Hmm. I disagree. But those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. Tinky. <laughs> so we ordered the others limp. Before they moved into the house. He's fuming because he's got to carry him to bed every night. Unleash your inner beauty with the new Glamour Fuser Max. Say farewell to acne, scars, and large pores, no but unpleasant skin conditions. So she's definitely got some sort of burn or something along those lines. Maybe that's why she doesn't want to be seen and she's just throwing shit at me and running away. Oh. More secrets. Oh. It's like all the same rooms. I think we're in the same rooms over and over, but every time we enter them they're like twisted round and changed. Any ACDC? Like I'm on a fucking highway to hell. Ooh. Little bastard can't afford a new one. Okay. So. Feel sorry for them, like, you know, they're not having a uh, they're not having an easy ride. Ooh. Let them be rock. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. 
secret taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? Is he using the baby? Because we've not seen a child, yeah? So... Has he used his child, skinned it, got the blood out of it, and then whatever else we're going to find? Because he's having a bit of a creative drought. That was awesome, by the way, how the room all changed. Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. Okay. Get out. The door's melted. That's all changing again. <laughs> that is so cool. Visuals are fantastic. Oh, that is so cool. So now I can get out. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have got our second item. Have we? Oh, I need to put it on the board. We're going to add to the flamingo drawing. Meant to be a dinosaur or something. So that looks like a woman's face. Start of a woman's face. Maybe like a dress and body. I don't know what that weird shit is there. Yeah. Hey, I got paintings. One. Two. Right. So, these are obviously all extra little bits to collect. Uh, and then my blood should be in there. My baby blood. And then we've got another four. Okay, let's crack on and do another one because they are quite short. Because I kind of got stuck in the uh, Ouija room for about 45 minutes on the first episode. Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work. That's <gasps> all. Yeah. Fill your beans. Just a Jaeger bomb. Okay. Round three of nightmares. Uh, funky music. Okay, I guess we're not going in there. So is this... We had like a four-way room. Someone needs to start shutting doors behind them. It's a terrible draft in here. Turn that music down. Okay, so. 
a piano in there. Can't go there. Can't go in there. Wow, oh, weird, that wasn't like that before. That must have been what that noise was. Uh, probably can't go back this way, I'd imagine. Okay. Idea what gender that is. Binary, probably. I was joking. to be very dark <sighs> wish there wasn't so many of these bloody cupboards that are just empty there's no point to them at all the odd piece of paper to find Was that the child or the wife? That looked like a baby. Oh, hello. What the fuck? Not on hanging. My eyes playing tricks on me. Looks like something hanging there. No, that, that's a tree. <gasps> what the fuck? I didn't imagine that. That definitely was there. Something's going to be here, isn't it? Uh... Yeah, that's definitely a tree. That looks like a clown, it looked like it. I don't like clowns. Looks like clown pants at least. Oh, the room definitely is gonna do something. Oh. Creator's block, so that's what he's got. Oh, so clever. Messaged. He's trapped inside his own mind because he can't write anything. Seriously, how the f do we get out? Ah, it's so good. How does it change? <gasps> How does... Maybe. Hi. Uh, can I just take that? Don't... Oh, it's gonna jump. It's gonna grab me. and stuff. I definitely think he killed the kid. Yeah, creative block. Didn't know what to do, so we decided to make a painting out of his child.
Ten out of ten for originality. I fucking shot that door, no. Oh. Creepy. So seamless. June, don't forget. I forgot. Hey, John Lennon's glasses. What the fuck? That's his wife, she's fucking ugly. This is f messes with your mind. So clever, it's like... It's not just jump scares or cheap jump scares. There is some there, but... It fucks you up. It just... You lose all perspective. The, the atmosphere is... Phenomenal. of babies again they're all dolls aren't they so we've actually seen as dolls we haven't seen yeah so that i'd say is the baby and that is the dad coming to what's a face off Like laws you're in, you think, oh, something's going to be out there. And you're not expecting it, where it actually comes. More notes today, even worse than before. The sad part is, I agree with every word. Well, at least you've started a dialogue. And started to repair your relationship and maybe not kill your child. That is shit. Criticism is saved. How many times have I opened these cupboards? Okay, that's a pretty extensive library you've got there. Yay, right. Okay, right, just double check. Let's back pedal. Pedal, back pedal, back pedal. Open these empty cupboards. Oh. Are we back here? It's different, isn't it? Threatens blind fools in grates. <laughs> Literally, what goes through my mind every time I see the general public. Yeah, it's no wonder you got slammed, mate, because that is shite. Prices. Oh. Ah. Ugly. Ugly. You ordered a true portrait, so that's where I painted you, fucking pleb. <laughs> Maybe I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face! You tell him. <laughs> so, <laughs> someone asked him to draw and do a portrait, and that's what he come up with. Oh my word. I want to see this person in real life. I want to see what he really looks like. <laughs> I can't believe he called him a fucking pleb. That's amazing. Uh, that not so much. Okay. Uh, 
weird that was. The, sometimes you wonder if you've walked past stuff and haven't noticed it, or if the level has changed. I think that that's what messes with you the most. Dodgy leg. Ooh. I moved that. I can move that. I just found a secret. There's no secrets here. I'm going to be mightily annoyed. Yeah. Woohoo. Okay. I'm so clever. Excluding the Ouija board incident. Uh, okay, let's swiftly move on. Have we had any lock? We did have a locked door up here. Uh, I don't want to miss out on using the key. Need to get your leg sorted. Secrets! Yay! Giled. Uh, obviously dead child. So it's going to be one of them, innit, where you play through it over and over again. To keep finding tiny little hidden gems like that. So if you're like a hoarder for trophies, you'd have to keep going through it all the time. Wave that. Hello. Horrendous. Please stop. They say, if I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you have previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I examine the case broadly and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. Maybe that's why she was chucking stuff at me. What do you prefer to what do you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp? Oh, it's just give me creeps down my spine. Uh, would many, so many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned not, not seem to be psychological, but rather purely pathological, psychological, physiological, but rather psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that. You went, what you went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, odious process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me. A fucking noise is driving me insane. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Another fucking quack. Oh, that, I need to stop that noise. Oh no, it's come back. Oh.
What the? Shut the fuck up. Again. Same letter. Gypsy. 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 What the hell? Like uh, that episode of Red Dwarf where everything's backwards. Gypsy. Where everything's backwards. Hello? Yes, speaker. Hello? Yes, speaker. Yes, speaker. What? what? What fire? fire. Oh, God. oh, God. Is she... she... Which hospital? Which hospital? I I'm on my way. Okay, so that is the news of the fire. Do we go forwards or backwards now? Do we go Yipsy or hello? Changing again, is it? Yeah. Okay. Restless. Memories. No, oh, flicking and lights normally means girls. Girls and drink don't mix very well. Red wine makes you drunk. Uh, Occupado! Clapping harder, be quiet. Other rats. Okay, so he's got like. Got an obsession with rodents. Okay, I seem to be in Australia. Again, so cool, so seamless. That is he like sort of war hero that ends and shit. Me glasses, me John Lennon specs again. Oh, war trophies. Okay. Do with his rat obsession. Is that? And we move on. Ah, lights! Hey. What's the wife? And she's. 
crying again. <laughs> Are we? Oh. Don't blame me because you got fire face. Oh no, fuck this shit, fuck this shit, let me out of here. Ah, okay, so, ha, be gone demon, all I have to do is turn the lights on, I think. You're definitely not done with me, are you? Yes. Turn round. Let's get out the room and then turn round. I like the lift, so cool. Okay. I guess we're going the other direction. Going down. Just hide in the corner. Hope with you. Well, stop, stopping here anyway. Find out more while you can. Abandon hope while you can. That's not the attitude to have, is it? Come on now. All that bad. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain and refrain and. Ugh. In any case, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. It's too late for that. He's killed his child. You still have a chance of winning this. Probably not. He's going to go to jail. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Well, you're just a cop. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advances. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning. Mourning what? A momentary lapse of reason. An overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your daughter. Okay, so. Was I off? Was that why the kid's not here? Because he's being taken off him. Or is it was he taken off him and then he decided to turn it into a painting to keep it around for all eternity? That's what I think. I think he killed her. Because they were gonna take her take her off him. There's rats, you know what I'm saying?
He has a wine faucet. That's when you know you've got a drinking problem. When your taps don't run water, they run actual wine. Wasn't expecting to be able to get through there. Get this door first. Uh... Okay, so we drowned the baby, or did he? No, because it was hanging last time. Silent floaters. They clogged the drain. Fair in the water. No baths for me. Bye bye, baby. They must stink if he's not having any baths. Water or wine. Flickering lights go away. That means monsters are coming my way. Hey. Wasn't too bad of a horror movie bathroom. I've had worse. Light to the key. Always turn the lights on. Ooh, this one's got a new lock on. Why? Because. Got the key, got the secret. Yay. Mm, creep factor eight. From love to madness, man apprehended after kidnapping his own daughter. He knew it. Earlier today, a typical quiet and peaceful neighbourhood witnessed a scene straight out of a crime drama as social services, accompanied by armed police officers, descended upon the residence of a blah blah, a once famous painter and recent widower. It hasn't, it hasn't mentioned the wife dying up until now, but the wife died as well. Okay. I can't think back to how that would have happened. Uh, apparently, the man had broken into a cha children's care centre downtown and absconded with one of the young patients. Our sources claim that the girl was in fact the culprit's daughter who had previously been removed from his care after a family court ruling after unsuccessful attempts at negotiating, fearing that the man might harm the child. Police officers stormed the building and apprehended the suspect. Eyewitnesses claim that as the paramedics escorted the girl out the house, the man still in handcuffs fell to his knees and rep repeatedly exclaimed, please, she's all I had left. A truly tragic turn of events. So, was it maybe... Is the wife that he's killed? And the daughter's being taken away? I thought we went in before. They're so room special that they have special locks. Body borrowers feeding on me, driving me insane, too fast to cut out. Ah, intriguing. A glitch or was that floating debris? Okay. Oh, always go left. The real. Always go middle. <laughs> <sighs> the 
This isn't going to be pleasant, is it? Actually, I had frame stuff today at the first time. What? This is visually amazing. Oh man, that's... Oh, that's so good. Although I feel a little bit ill after walking through. So good. Okay, down deep into the depths of pitch black. This. In this. Okay. In a face. Starting to imagine stuff now. Ooh. Someone's about to drop the base. Well, the guy's got an anti-gravity machine in his basement. Don't follow my head. Making mistakes, I'm gonna get hit. Oh fuck! Oh my god! No, something's gonna happen. I stopped it. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Child's bone or wife's bone? That is the only question I am unsure of. I still think child. I think his wife died due to the fire injuries. He had the daughter taken away from him and somehow he um murdered her and decided to make a painting out of it i have to ask though or wonder i wonder if it actually sold did he get his creativity back was it worth it probably not and how am i walking the house now have i not been arrested How did he get it back if she, if he daughter had kidnapped her? How did he manage to get it back a second time? So many unanswered questions. So, I need to go back down there. I need to double check that. Okay, uh, back up to I gather which is going to be the painting room. That's going to be the end of this chapter. Yeah, I 
let's see what our artistic skills create for us today. Hmm. That looks like a bird now. Phoenix rising from the ashes, I think it's going to be. That kind of looks flamey. That looks like sort of maybe a bird's head and wing, maybe. Maybe it's like, maybe the Peyton symbolizes like Phoenix from the Ashes' return to his creative um, spirit or whatever you want to call it. So, three more chapters, so we're halfway through. Ah, enjoying this. Yeah, okay. Let us leave that episode there. I might try and live stream the rest of them over the weekend if I can. I think I probably preferred live streaming it. It's a bit, uh, it was a bit more boring just doing it. Uh, just recording. Yeah, live streaming it was quite cool. Being able to sort of share it with you guys. Um, that's what I'm... Oh. Lost that lost alone hopeless you always will be a grotesque misunderstanding finish it that's that's what it's like when you're recording that live stream and lost alone and hopeless <laughs> okay uh, yeah thanks for watching i know it's not like sim rally stuff but uh, it's not like i'm gonna it was it's just a kind of one-off or i might i might do a couple if they do get popular or p people want me to do more uh, but i'm still gonna be like sim racing channel uh, so don't be worrying about that um uh yeah so don't forget like subscribe hit the bell for notifications and i'll see you on the next one